how many shows do you think you've pitched since you started? I mean, I've had two shows that I produced and starred in, and I had another six pilots or variants of series that I got on air. Six that you were part of either wrote, produced, or acted in? Yeah. No, it was eight, but six I wasn't on camera. So let's say eight. That's ridiculous. Out of how many? Well, like some went 30 up, some went six, some went pilot. But what about the ones that didn't get made or, or bought? Out of shows, I've probably pitched. I would say it's more. It's not as many as you think, but it's one show, a lot of pitches. I pitched one show, 23 networks. Hey there, folks. It's Michael Rosenbaum, and boy, have I got a huge announcement for you. This has been a long time coming, and it's finally here. I'm doing a live podcast. My podcast, Inside of You with Michael Rosenbaum, is going live. Yeah, for the first time ever on Wednesday, October 11th at the iconic Regent in Los Angeles. And guess what? I'm not going to be alone. Um, we're bringing a guest you might remember. He's been on the podcast. He's a friend of the show. The one, the only, Zachary Levi. We're going to catch up on life and mental health and we're going to have a really good time with all of you. I think you know that. We're going to make it a lot of fun. We're planning a Q&A, maybe some fun games, other exclusive stuff you're only going to get by seeing it live. We're even hosting a VIP meet and greet for a small number of people before the show begins. Grab your tickets, mark your calendars, and get ready for the night of laughs, insights, and unforgettable moments. Tickets are limited, so don't miss your chance to join us on October 11th at The Regent in Los Angeles. Get your tickets now at insideofyoulive.com. This is going to be an epic night, so if you're in the area, come out, and I'll see you there. And everyone laughed, and they never bought it. So at least 100 different ideas I've taken around multiple times. And you've had eight that... Yeah, about 8%. That's... It's not terrible. That's really good. Yeah, but I never got past... The 60, like I had one more season for syndication. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. my show would have been one more season syndication and then boom. Jamie, but, Jamie ex Kennedy experiment. Experiment, yeah. Which, why was it like, you know, I know it was canceled after two seasons, but it was the highest rated show. It was like, it was, why, why did they just let it go so quickly? I'll tell you exactly why. So we got the show, we were making the show. The show is like when things in Hollywood are made good. I believe they're made kind of on a fluke, right? So the show started because Jordan, who is a great guy, Love him. gave you know us very big breaks, Jordan yeah. Levin. He was running the network and he was he was cool. He was like us. He was like a young guy. You're right. You're right. He loved to go to Morton's. He loved to drink wine. Always smiling. He's always happy. He knew he knew pop music. He was fun. He was in, and Suzanne Daniels, also young and exciting. And the WB was this new place where I've never seen programming for younger people, let alone a whole network dedicated to it, right? right? That was like young YA. Yeah. And it was Sarah Michelle was like, you know, the-, the Poster child. Yes. The, yeah. So he was a big fan of comedy. And he says, I want you to do a tape for the salespeople. And he says, I want you to go and do a prank on them. And you're going to play their, a big guy. You're going to play the network's nephew who's got ideas for products. And they're going to film it. And they filmed it. And I was in there pitching like Coca-Cola salesperson. I'm like, let's go back to the original formula, bro. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, a little cocaina. You know, like people need more energy. Red Bull's <laughs> killing you. Let's figure this out. Colombian Coke. Like the guy was like, free. so everything <laughs> was a new product that I would just give it the, the Swiffer, like all these different products. Great reactions. Huge thing. Played it at the upfronts as a, as a break in between show and show. So, so they're showing you Smallville or, you know, Seventh Heaven. They're showing a break. And this show was shown as the break. It killed. It was the perfect thing because it was on the advertising. So it wasn't sold yet. No, it this was, was just a. It was literally. It was like a a sizzle inter interstitial to keep people happy as they're showing new shows and keeping the advertisers happy. Were you surprised that it went this well? I knew it went well, and he. I knew that if it did something, he's a creative guy, so it would have been 
an idea. It was perfect because we played it at the place that where people were buying the stuff and it was their friends who were getting pranked. It was like, you know, 2,000 people in New York killed. And he's like, we got to do a show. Like that night, he's like, we got to do a show. Okay, so it takes off and boom, numbers are great and all that. So yeah, then we do it, takes off, numbers are great. And then second year, uh, we're traveling more, orders the whole season. The third year, get the whole season order, a ton of cities, corporate sales. What happened was there was a corporate restructuring and the head of, I want to say, Warner Brothers TV changed. And so Jordan left and a new guy came in. And axed it. Fat was trimmed. You got you were one of the few that got to stay. And we got we got axed. A lot of us got axed. How how hard is it for you? How hard was it for you then when something gets canceled compared to how you react now? Uh I'll tell you a couple of things. What's crazy is is that Comedy Central was dying for the show. This is gonna be this is a good moment for you. Like it hurts me. <laughs> Two places wanted it. ABC Family and Comedy Central. Comedy Central was begging for the show. They said, we're going to pair it with Chappelle. The studio or the somebody in ownership goes, we're not going to sell it to you unless you take all episodes produced. And they didn't, they did because they were planning on doing more seasons. And they said, no, we're just going to buy what we want now. And he goes, you know, you have to take all future episodes. And they said, no. That deal was killed. And they sold it to ABC Family. ABC Family ran it for six weeks and then said, we're changing our mandates. So it was gone in six weeks. Comedy Central, meanwhile, Chappelle blows up because of reruns, because of the DVDs. Would have got that second window, I believe. So when it was canceled, though, I was doing a lot. I was doing movies. I was doing stuff. So I was like, okay, it was a good run, an amazing springboard. I'll look at my next thing. But when it went down, I had a few other things go down and then I was definitely bummed. Would I be as bummed as I would, I would not be nearly as bummed now, but then I was pretty damn bummed.